so excited to spend time with you again on another Monday meeting. The purpose of these Monday meetings is for you and I to spend time together and for me to give you fitness tips, recipes, exercise things, and so much that can help you along your journey to good health for energy and vitality. Today's topic is going to be all about hydration. How to stay hydrated. Yes, friends, I have so many good little tips for you, so let's just dive right into our topic for today. We only got about five minutes together, so let me quickly give you some tips that will help you along the way. So we understand that our bodies are made up at about 85% of water. Just in case you didn't know that, yes, about 85% of water. And it is so important to replenish your body as the, with water as your body expels the water. So a lot of times people ask me, well, what do you mean about my body expelling water? How does my body expel water? Believe it or not, we expel water through our skin, which is obviously sweat. We expel water on our everyday, of our everyday daily activities. Our body just expels water. We expel water when we eliminate. Yes, we eliminate. We actually also expel water. And so it is up to us. Our body depends upon us to replenish that water level. So let me give you the rule of thumb. You should be drinking half of your body weight in ounces every day yes if you're below that then you're causing your body to dip into dehydration and i don't know if you realized it but if you're even two percent um, in a dehydration mode your body actually responds to that you can get headaches your thinking becomes foggy your vision can actually become blurry and those are things that will not help us throughout the day. So remember, you need about half of your body weight in ounces. So I know, of course, doctors around the world, they all tell you you can read any type of magazine that you need eight cups of water. Well, that might be true for some people, but do your math and figure out what is half of your body weight in ounces so that you can determine how much you need to drink. Now, what do you do in the event that you maybe are exercising or maybe you're very physical and your job requires so much or maybe you're out in the sun or what do you do? How do you continue to stay hydrated? So keep in mind that when you're exercising, you need an additional four to six ounces of water throughout the day. And it's the same thing for if you're active, if you're moving, you can, moving around I should say, you can always add in more additional water. Now, here's something that has been very interesting. People have asked me, can you overhydrate? And yes, you can. You can overhydrate. So make sure that you actually stay within that sweet spot. Stay within that sweet spot. Because overhydration can actually cause some of your organs to be taxed greater than what they need to be. Now, I talk to people all the time in their life, Shalyn. I drink tea, I drink water, I drink Kool-Aid, I drink lemonade, I drink Gatorade, I drink Crystal Light. What is the difference and can I count that towards my daily amount of hydration? Can I count that towards my water intake? Well, there is some controversy with that. Typically for me, I don't count anything that I add in any type of sweeteners. So sweeteners for me, if you've watched my sugar episode, um, sweeteners for me really are more uh, like stevia. I will do some stevia. I also do monk fruit and scrap because those two sweeteners do not uh, raise up the glycemic index within you. If I'm having anything that maybe is sweetened with those two things and they are water-based, I will count that towards my hydration for the day. But if you're having soda and even if it's no calorie that's not going to count friends if you're having um, lemonade that is sweetened with sugar that still doesn't count only because once again your body now is having to fight against those additional additives to get to the water source of what it's looking for now a couple more things and then we'll be done with our monday meeting for today oh, 
I talk to people that often ask me, you know, what can I do to make my water taste better? It just has no taste, and I just cannot get through my amount of water that I need on an everyday basis. Well, the biggest thing that I have done is um, I have a diffuser. So it's a big carafe that's about this big, and I'll see, you think you can see that, it's about this big. It has a skinny little tube in the inside, and I will cut up fruit and herbs and different things like that, put it right in that center carafe, put that water bottle in the refrigerator, and I actually love to use filtered water, purified filtered water is my main type of water that I like to drink. But I will put those things in that little bitty skinny carafe and put the put the carafe inside the bottle, put the bottle in the refrigerator because I love it nice and chilled. And then I have created a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful way of drinking my water. So some of the forms that I love the most would be strawberry kiwi. So obviously you've cut up fresh strawberries, you've cut off the brown outer portion of the kiwi, you've chopped that up and put that in the center carafe. I also like uh, cucumber mint. So now you've cut off, um, you've chopped up the cucumber and you've broken off mint leaves. Cucumber mint is absolutely delicious. It's so refreshing. Um, I also like uh, strawberry, strawberry infused. Well, she's obviously just plain strawberry, but I should also say um, even plain watermelon. That's absolutely wonderful as well. So you can create lots of different combinations so that your water is, is, is infused with some wonderful, wonderful uh, flavor. And it just gets that mindset into actually having a sense of peace, having a, a sense of calmness, and you're enjoying a fresh, healthy drink. So if any of these things have helped you, make sure that you like, share, comment um, on this video because we want to help other people. And then if you want to get in contact with me, remember you can reach me on my website. That's www.healthcoachshalene.com and that's spelled S-H-A-L-Y-N-N-E. -N -N -E. I hope that this Monday meeting has helped you. And remember, get to guzzling. Your body is waiting on you. Talk to you soon, friends, and see you next Monday. Bye-bye.